We have some sweet treats to help you get all ready for Thanksgiving. We're joined this morning by Angela Ferrara McEllen, who is showing off her turkey day baking ideas. Angela, we love when you're in studio. This looks delicious. It what, smells so I know. good. What have you brought us today? Thank I want to put this down. Hold thank on. you. <laughs> I have brought you everything that can be prepared for Thanksgiving in 10 minutes or less. Really? Some but of it. There's fudge here. You can't do that in 10 minutes. You can make it in 10 minutes. Now, it obviously needs to refrigerate overnight. Yeah. But I tell you, this is the best fudge recipe I have ever tried. Well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, start us off on this end. What do we have here? These are um, lemon curd chantillys mm -hmm. um, with a little bit of crushed ginger nuts in them. They're lighter alternative if you don't want the traditional pumpkin pie or pecan pie. Um, the pomegranate um, eaten mess is another light mm -hmm. option. What is in this? What, what is this? It's Chantilly cream, so it's just heavy whipping cream yeah. mixed with a little bit of icing sugar. Normally I would put vanilla in it, but I left it out because I think the pomegranate is strong enough on its own. And basically, just a, a dollop of that. And these are meringues. Now, you can make your own, but you can buy them in the shop as well. And you just crush it up. My son loves it when I do this because he says, <laughs> I make such a, a mess. I make such a mess. A mess. Um, and then it's just a bit of pomegranate. Now and I it looks beautiful. I did make a little reduction with the juice uh, of the pomegranate, but um, I'll give you that spoon. You can oh, try this is a healthy breakfast nice. option for us. <laughs> okay. right? I hope my husband isn't watching me break my diet. Okay. Oh yeah, that's great. No, mm -hmm. this is that's also. Delicious. As I said, very easy to make. It's um, the fudge recipe. All the recipes will be on my website, ferrarasbakery.com. Um, but this just has walnuts in it. But the recipe, you can change it up. You can put whatever mixes you want. Make into it your it. own. No, I've already make had one, but I'm. I'm just, <laughs> just oh, that. That's pretty good. Okay, good. so moving down. I've got uh, mini key lime pies. Um, my husband is a big meringue fan, so there is a lot of meringue on all of these. <laughs> um, I hope he's watching. He'll get to t sample these soon enough. <laughs> um, and they're basically. Pre buy your uh, mini crust. crust because you can make them your own, but you, it will take Is a lot longer. Is it a graham longer. cracker? Graham cracker crust, yeah. You can buy the short crust, but I prefer the graham cracker, especially with the, uh, the hazelnut and the, uh, the Nutella, rather, and the key lime. Oh. And you just mix up sweetened condensed milk, the zest and juice of uh, seven key limes, okay. and a pinch of salt. Mix it up, and it thickens automatically. Put that into the, um, the shell. Put your meringue on top, pop it in the oven for 12 minutes, and it's done. Stick it in the fridge, it's cool. <laughs> this is great. And oh, one last thing here, I guess. This is the hazelnut and Nutella cheesecake. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you don't oh, want to know the calories so in I that. <laughs> okay, we won't, we won't <laughs> talk calories. A cheesecake, that doesn't seem like something that you would traditionally have at Thanksgiving, but it's got the right ingredients that it, makes it feel like fall. It does, it does. And I have a lot of people in my family who won't eat the traditional Thanksgiving <laughs> dessert, so I come up with all sorts of unusual things. Well, pumpkin pie isn't for everyone. No, no. And um, my mother doesn't like pumpkin pie. So. Oh. Well, that, <laughs> fudge, that fudge is pretty amazing. Oh, I still Jason can't believe it's a 10 minute right recipe. Now. Go on, you can have another one. Come on. <laughs> Three. Jason, we're What's keeping it hurt? tally. Right? We're it keeping hurt? a tally. <laughs> all right, so again, where can people find your recipes? FerraraSBakery.com. Okay. Um, I have a blog there, and if they sign up for the blog, I'll let them know when I'm doing classes um, because I also teach the baking and the cake decorating. Um, and they can also fill on all of the, the recipes going back every show that I've done, as well as new ones that are coming out. So. All right. Angela, thank you so much for joining thank us today. We're going to let the crew go to town. Okay. <laughs>